the NSS is, of course, a great defender of democracy, and we think democracy and secularism are mutually dependent. One doesn't work very well without the other. So it's important that, like babies' nappies, politicians are changed from time to time, <laughs> and mostly for the same reason. Um, <laughs> I really must stop trying to make political jokes. After all, <laughs> one of them has been elected in the USA. Um, before we get round to naming our secularists of the year, there are a few other people we want to acknowledge and thank. And first, our volunteer of the year. This is someone who's been very loyal and consistent in his help to the NSS. Um, he's here working away today in his usual quiet and assuming way, and I'm sorry if I've taken him by surprise, but our photographer, Sven Klinger, where is he? Uh, <laughs> um, Sven is our volunteer of the year. won't make you make a speech. <laughs> um, last year, a group of the great and the good got together and formed what they called the Commission on Religion and Belief in British Public Life, or CORAB. They gave themselves a the task of proposing a new approach for religion in public affairs. They went round the country asking people what they thought. And when the NSS was approached, we refused to take part because um, it was quite an unbalanced commission. They were all religious people, all except one, a token humanist. And we were very suspicious about what the, the aim of this uh, so-called commission was. Um, when the report was eventually published, our suspicions were proved mostly correct. Rather than recommending that religious influence be reduced in public life, the Commission was coming up with all kinds of new ways for religion to intrude even further. We didn't disagree with all of its suggestions, of course, but most of them would have resulted in religious bodies having new and disproportionate influence in many areas. It was annoying to think that the, this report would go unchallenged, and so we were pleased to help Dr. Stephen Kettle, or Kettle, I'm not quite sure, here he is, <laughs> at the University of Warwick's Department for Politics and International Studies to bring out a document, this document, a secular response to the Commission on Religion and Belief in Public Life. On this project, we've been happy to cooperate, and Dr. Kettel came up with a reasoned answer to the CORAB report, pointing out the many problems and injustices that would arise if its recommendations were implemented. Dr. Kettel's excellent response is up online if you'd like to see it, and there's a, a link to it on our website. So for producing such a splendid response uh, and a repast, we'd like to thank Dr. Steve Kettel. Kettel. Thank you. 